All right, I'm Sir TapTap, and welcome back to Thumper in VR this time. So, this is the game that really benefits a lot from VR. I think we were on level three. Um, this is the game that benefits a lot from VR, even though I'm not sure if it was really designed with it in mind. You know, this, this on rail look. I, I I wasn't sure how well it worked, but it 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 does it does work. Anyway, there's a lot of stuff that ends up being a lot more dramatic in uh, VR. I I have not played this for a while. Oh, you gotta... Okay. I remember now. It's been a while since I played, so even if we didn't start up, finish off on level 3, it's probably best I don't do level 4. I hear level 5 is the one, the first one, that really, you know, hurts a lot. So... I'm not sure I'm ready for that one yet. I guess it's based on like measures, so like level 5 is drastically harder than the other ones. I don't know how, or like music, like the 1-4, the 2-2, the one, the two, two, I don't, I don't know musics. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's some musical thing and it gets way more intense at 5. And I guess the levels after 5 aren't quite as hard, I think like the very last one. I don't remember the difficulty curve. But yeah, it's music stuff, and that's neat, even when I don't understand, you know, the whole music stuff. But yeah, this perspective feels a little close, but it also works pretty well. Because it gives you... you're mostly looking at the thing ahead, and not so much at the bug. You can look at the bug if you want. I mean, it's a good bug. They're good bugs, Brent. But, uh... Oh, this thing came back. I'm already remembering why talking while playing Thumper was a bad idea. Yeah, the, the the final boss of the levels is a real treat in VR. It's pretty intense. Oh. Also, I learned and then forgot how to do perfect turns. I, I haven't played this in a while, like I said. There you go! That sound means you do a perfect turn. Aww. I guess the experience may not be too different recording in VR, and like watching in VR. But it feels really freaking cool. Believe you me. It's also in 90 frames per second, I believe. Yeah, it's 90, and um, it has a PS VR mo or a PS4 Pro mode now. Um, that's just it's better visuals. I don't think they changed the frame rate. In fact, I'm not aware of any games that run at higher frame rate in PS4 Pro, but. Last time I checked was a little bit before the Pro launch, so I could be wrong. But it seems like they're mostly, you know, VR. You kind of have to make sure it plays right, period. And then you worry about the graphics. So, oh, you gotta do the jumpy dump. I should really practice rhythm games before I try to play them. I'm, I'm never good at rhythm games. But I'm a little less bad after some practice. I'm so glad this game has a checkpoint system, because I would never finish it otherwise. Oh, speaking of never finishing, um, they added a Play Plus mode. You might have saw it on the main menu there. Um, play Plus mode um, is ridiculous and offering. I think it's either no checkpoints or you die in one hit. And. It's a harder otherwise, too, I believe. It's super extreme hardcore mode for, you know, somebody that isn't me that, you know, thinks this game is too easy. I'm not sure who would get that impression, personally, but um, they're out, if they're out there, you can play Play Plus mode. There you go. Uh, I did the thing. I was going for a perfect turn. I guess I shouldn't have. Oh well. Fortunately, we have checkpoints. Ah! 
I... I guess the whole point of a perfect turn is there's some risk involved. But yeah, I, it's hard to... Uh, proving my point before I even say it. It's hard to look around too much in VR in most times, because, I mean, you'll screw up if you diddle around too much. But it's still... It really takes you into the game. And there's some really good uh, moments. Usually, right before the boss comes up, there's a really good moment to gawk at uh, your impending doom. Also, I, I forget if I mocked um, gaming in general for this before, but um, I said this on Twitter. Um, people are just always like, Oh, yeah, I can't get immersed in a video game if, you know, I have to play as a human female. Um, this is the most immersive game I've played in 2016, and I play as a beetle having an acid trip. That's... It, it, it doesn't have to be me. I'm not a beetle. And my lawyer has advised me not to mess specify whether I'm on an acid trip, so, um... But yet, I still, you know... I'm still way into this. And, I, not to mock too much, if you really do genuinely have trouble, like, playing games, like, that you, you know, somebody, you know, it's, it's a different person's perspective, perspective. Please still play those games, please, you know, Try new things. Try interesting things. Um, maybe it'll open your mind. Maybe you'll find something you enjoy that you thought you would hate. Maybe you'll understand things a bit better, you know? That's kind of the whole point of my channel is, you know, see new things you probably haven't heard of. See, you know, try new things. Uh, you'll probably find you like a lot more than you think you would have. I have definitely grown a lot in my taste since I started the channel. I've been trying more weird stuff. I've been finding a lot of stuff I really like. That, you know, at first blush, you know, maybe 10 years ago, I would have been like, nah, that, that isn't a video game. Yeah, when there's really huge stuff forming around you or like looping at you in VR, that's when, that's when it really gets you. That's, I like this. It's good. Like, oh. It does, however, get a little overwhelming. Okay, we're dead now. <laughs> you gotta... You do have to still pay attention. Though I'm kind of doing three things. I'm trying to do the commentary, I'm trying to play the game, and I'm trying to, you know, appreciate the world in VR. But, uh... I can probably do two but not three. It's really underrated how talking while doing stuff, it can really mess you up. Even, even when you're really used to it. As long as it's not like something like completely, you know, automated, like something you've done a billion times before, then it's not so bad. But new songs in a rhythm game, plus original commentary, do not steal, is, is ouch. I, I I would not even try Patapon. I love that game. But when I was playing it on my PSP, I would say, like, somebody would say something to me. I would say, like, two words, and then, uh, boom, the beat was dropped. Many died. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, I messed it up. Oh, dang. There we go. Oh, that wasn't even the final boss. Okay. Also, there's... I was following some people that were doing some, like, work on figuring out how the scoring system in this game works, and it's really... There's a lot of stuff you gotta get right, which I'm obviously not going to do. Like, I think stomping on the crystal that heals you, like that little checkpoint thing there, gives you a lot more crystals, but it also adds some, like, delay that makes it, like, impossible to, like, perfectly perform everything, or it made it a lot harder to practice or something. 
Because then you... Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not, you know... I've said this before, but I'm not the sort of person that's, like, gonna go for the high scores and stuff. Because, I mean, there's a bunch of really crazy good people that are gonna do that, too. And, I mean... I don't know, I just don't feel a great deal of point to it all. That's why I like my, my ranks. You know, tell me if I did a vaguely good score. I'm like, oh, okay, and then I'll be done, and I'll play a different game. Because, I mean, really, I, I got a lot of games to play. I started Pokemon Moon, or, yeah, Pokemon Moon is the one I got. Um, I've played maybe three hours of it over the past, I've had it, I, I guess, not quite a week now, but... I I've freaking barely played it, because I've been playing other stuff. And not even- the stuff I played wasn't even the stuff I was planning to play for the most part. It's like, I don't know, life is busy. Life comes at you fast, like the obstacles in this game. I will say, regarding score, the the perfect turn thing does really feel good. Oh, I should have stopped down on this thing to show you. Um... I do totally get the, the, the allure of a well-performed game. You know, getting the perfect turns does feel good. I just... I don't know, when it comes to leaderboards and stuff... I'll go against friends, but the problem is... Uh, so few games that my friends play tend to have leaderboards. I just... It just... Eh. I wish, also, I don't tend to have all my friends added on every, like, service and system and everything. I kind of wish you could just log in with, like, frickin' Twitter is my main social, you know, networking thing. I wish you could just sign into Twitter and be like, oh, you know, at Dumbface has, like, oh, I beat at Dumbface's score by, like, 500. And then I can go, like, add him on Twitter and be like, hey, Dumbface, I beat your score, jerk. What now, loser? You know? That's the sort of high-quality features that I would like to see in my video games. But, uh, yeah, until, until that happens, like, like, well, there's, there's way too many accounts in online stuff lately, like, nah, I, like, people were asking about, like, there's this thing called mastodon.social, and it's just literally TweetDeck, but I guess it's distributed and uh, open source. And I signed up for it because, I mean, a bunch of people were talking about it and, you know, why not? I I'll make sure I get my at name on there. And... But, really, Twitter is the biggest social network that I use significantly. And it does pretty much, you know, Twitter has some bad stuff about it. It has some harassment issues. It has some spam issues. Um, it's kind of hard to get to use the first time. But I really like it. I really... The short updates thing works really well, and you can expect most people, most developers, to have Twitter. It's at the, it's big enough and not shitty enough for me to enjoy it. That's right, Parker. And um, yeah, uh, it's the one thing I want to use, and it bugs me that a lot of stuff I can't just log in with Twitter and be like, yeah, that's me. Like, you can log in with Facebook on PlayStation 4, but I don't know a ton of people on Facebook, and I, I haven't added anybody to my Facebook um, since I got my job. Frick. Uh, that was like four, five years ago now? I, I really do not use Facebook at all. I, I only keep it. I really want to delete my account, but the only reason I keep it is because it's the only way to have contact a few people I know from, uh, from locally around here. I don't even really talk to them too much, but I don't want to lose that line of contact. But I will not, I will never willingly use the Facebooks, personally. But Twitter, I'm all about that. And something that, this is not related to this game at all at this point. But, oh, here we go, the boss time. Um, something I really don't like about our horrible tech future is that everything's gotten more split up and more spread out. Like... Back in the day, you used to be able to talk with people on Yahoo Instant Messenger with your um, AOL Instant Messenger. And same with people on MSN. You would have one login, and you could log into multiple services with it and just chat with people in your one preferred app. And everybody could use what they wanted, and nobody had to download a new app 
just to talk to Jim. Because, I mean, damn it, Jim. Not everybody uses Line Messenger. What even is that? I don't want stickers. I have Twitter, Jim. God damn it, Jim. Anyway. Um, yeah, everything's all split up now. And you gotta have, you know, nothing talks to other things. And that's why I like Twitter, because it's, you know, most people seem to have it. And it's, it's just not annoying enough. And, like, I'm not gonna... Oh. I tried to stomp. That was a bad. I did a bad. I was in the air and I just always want to stomp down. It's not always a good idea. Anyway. A couple of people have asked me about line. It's like, no. I have I have Twitter on my phone. Um, if Twitter isn't good enough for you, you, you filthy casual, um, you can send me a text message if, like, I know you. Like... I don't know. I, I really don't want 18,000 apps. Like, because you gotta have Line, you gotta have WhatsApp, you gotta have Snapchat, you gotta have, you know, the Google Message Bird. I don't even know what that's called. Um, there's a new Google one. I don't know if it uses text messages or not. Um, there's Peach, the social network that died in like five days. Um, there's the new Mastodon.social, which doesn't even have an app, I don't think. Um,. That's right, Parker. Um, there's, I do like Discord, though. Discord is the one thing. it Because it has a web app. It has You can use Discord with whatever you want. You can sign in with just, I think, with Twitter or with just an email. It was a really easy sign-up process. It was like two seconds. Um, and it has voice chat. It has, like, actual features. You know? It's not like, oh, you can use a sticker of your, you know... You can put a sticker of a peach on, you know, a dick pic you send to somebody that deletes itself in five seconds. Like, oh... Th thanks. That's a that's a high quality feature for high quality people. Um, yeah, kids these days. Uh, I don't I don't like the peaches and the lines and the stuff. You know the e emojis. The only emojis I like are the good shit emojis. You know, with the, the little the eyes and and the um, you know the okay sign with your fingers. What is that called? Like I know how to do it. But like, and I know what it is, but I don't know what you like call that hand gesture. You know the one where you make the little turkey with your hands? It's Thanksgiving, by the way, so happy Thanksgiving. I will not be uploading this video on Thanksgiving. Um, but you, I hope you had a posthumously good Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, that's fine. But, you know, I hope you were thankful anyway. Because it's good to be thankful, you know? It's good to be like, hey, things are nice, even if I'm, you know, a beetle tripping on acid and losing health and dying horribly, you know, it could be worse. I could, you know, I could be on Snapchat getting a dick pic from like a 13 year old. You know, it could be worse. People tell me, people tell me that Snapchat is not for dick pics. That, that's not true. That, it, that's what it's for. I'm sorry, but you don't make, you don't make a message service where the messages delete themselves with no paper trail unless you're trying to send people dick pics. I know these things. I know things. That's right, Parker. I know all of the things. I know you teens, you millennials. What even is a millennial anymore? Because, like, it used to be, like, a very narrow age group, and now I swear it's anybody under the age of 40. Like, by the end of this generation, or at the end of this, like, decade, I'm pretty sure my parents are going to be millennials. And, like, my grandparents are going to be millennials. Everyone is a millennial now. And they're killing everything just murder. This I bet this game is a millennial, because it's trying to kill me. I bet Parker is a millennial, because he bites me. I'm so bad at the beat. This is why you don't see many rhythm games on this channel. I really like this game, but rhythm games in general do not like me. Like, I tried to play Rudy Mikkel. I really want to just... I wish I could just, like, pay somebody five bucks to unlock all of the outfits and stuff, and I could say I'm done. I beat the final boss on easy, and I guess that's done for me. Because I... I don't know. Rhythm games are just so inaccessible, and that's... A, I've really enjoyed that this game... This game is not easy, but... It doesn't make me feel like complete garbage every time I screw up. Which is... You know, extremely rare for rhythm games. Like, they don't even let you finish the song! How fucking rude! How freaking rude! Yeah, this is the part... Where the VR is really freaking cool.
and and then the boss shows up at some point. Where's he at? There he is! Oh shit! I love being able to peek around a bit. But yeah, the boss is so intense in VR. Also, I swear the boss is closer up. I think he's farther away when it's not in VR. I could be wrong. Maybe he just feels closer. But, but dang. This is what VR is made for. Centipede legs and spooky scary skeleton coming to eat your face off. That, that is what VR is for. This is what I always wanted. And it's finally here. It's finally gonna eat my face off. I'm so proud. Look at his pig nose. I just noticed he has a pig nose. I guess it's supposed to be like skull nose. But pigs do that too. Aw, oh, I shouldn't I shouldn't stomp. Ooh, I got it anyway. Oh wait, I got my wings back. Oh no, not three! I was just I was just trying to say that yeah, I need to stomp less. And then the game's like, no, you're gonna stomp more, fucker. But sometimes you need that. Sometimes you gotta go out of your comfort zone. He's dead already? He's dead already? Bye bye. <laughs> I love being able to peek around the track like that. New high score. Nah. <laughs> Kind of a mess of non-S's there, but... I wonder, if you get an S, and then you get a B, and then you redo that checkpoint, is that valid for an all-S rank run? Because that's the only way I'm going to get an all-S rank run. Uh. Anyway, that's level 3 of Thumper in VR this time. Um, and you can play in non-VR mode. In v like, you can play anything in non-VR mode. Um if you want to, and you see it, it's like a big screen, um, but it's not super exciting either, and it would be really dumb to record a video that way, um, but yeah, that's, this is Sumper in VR, I'm trying to do like a week or so, like probably more than a week long term, like, but like, uh, do a bunch of VR videos and, you know, show off stuff, because I, I got really busy and ended up not doing all the VR stuff I wanted to, so I'm getting back to it. But my voice is kind of giving out, and uh, yeah, so we're, we'll have to play level four another time, and I'll probably practice before I play it because that I, I guess I could have done worse, but but that wasn't amazing either. <laughs>